right, we are in second grade math on page 15. We are going to do some homework together. Find each sum, 2 plus 4. So you can draw a number line. And remember, you'd start with the larger addend. So start with 4 and then do two jumps and get 4, 5, 6. Or you could draw a picture, 3, 4, and then add 2, and you still get 6. Now remember, when you know this, if you flip it around, it's still the same, so the answer would still be 6. Number 2, 4 plus 1, I can draw our number line, 4, and then one more would be 5. Here, start with the larger addend, 4, add one more, 5. Number 3, 9 plus 0, oh, it's that identity property, 9 will stay the same. That was easy. 0 plus 9, same answer. We just flip the add in. We could add in any order. 3 plus 4 and 4 plus 3. Let's start with 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Add 3 more. 5, 6, 7. So if we have this one, you know this one is also 7. When you know one, you know the other. 1 plus 7. Let's start with 7. Draw that number line. Seven. One jump would be eight. That's easy. Oh, sorry. And then seven plus one. Same thing. Still eight. Zero plus three. Three plus zero. We're going to start with the larger number. And there's nothing there. So it's that identity property. The answer would be three. You see how they flip that around? They just put the answer at the beginning. Math, you can do that. It's an equation. plus 3. We start with the 3, 4, 5. So the answer would be 5 here. And the answer would be 5 here. If you know one, you know the other. 5 plus 3. We start with the 5, 6, 7, 8. And same thing here. 3 plus 5. Start with the 5, 6, 7, 8. Same answer. Same numbers. We just flipped them around. The zoo has four striped snakes. It has two yellow snakes. Write two ways you could find how many snakes the zoo has in all. So, we know it has four striped snakes. I'm going to circle that four. And we know it has two yellow snakes. So, four striped snakes and two yellow snakes. Make that two a little bit squirrely. There we go. Four plus two. Or I could draw some snakes. One, two, three, four and then two more snakes, and I have six snakes. Now, to draw it another way, I could start with the yellow snakes. I could draw the two yellow snakes first, and put the two first, and then the four striped snakes, and I still have six snakes. Very good. Kathy counts four baby goats and five baby sheep in the petting zoo. I have two ways you could find how many babies there are in it. Same thing with baby animals, right? Because we're talking about goats and sheep. So we have four baby goats and five baby sheep. So I have four baby goats, five baby sheep. Let's draw that out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now remember, you can flip these numbers around. We still get the same answer. So instead of starting with the goats, I'll start with the sheep. Five sheep, four baby goats. And the answer is? There's still nine babies. Quick check. Circle the number sentence that shows the vocabulary word, add in. So we're going to look at these arrows. These arrows right here are pointing to two numbers in an addition sentence. This one is pointing to one number. This is the answer. We call this the sum. The answer to an addition sentence is called a sum. And this right here is pointing to the plus sign and the equal sign. Those are not add-ins. <laughs> the add-ins are the two numbers that make up an addition sentence at the beginning. The two numbers that you're adding are called add-ins. 